Hello everyone, so this time I would like to share a video on how to create a realistic looking fly detail with a simple method. I use this method uh, very often in my work because it's very quick and the result is pretty good. So as you can see here in the pattern, I have these two front pattern pieces and then I have this fly pattern piece. And I already have attached it inside on this side. As you can see here, I have the internal line and sewing is kind of like this and then this part is shut. And uh, now I will add another layer, so layer clone under, like this, and then simulate. And with layer clone under, of course, this uh, pattern piece is placed right um, below this one. And now I have to just uh, adjust some of the sewing. So as you can see here in, I think, the latest release, Clo has changed how the sewing is created when you do layer clone under or over. So before that, you had one sewing that goes around the perimeter. But now they have split it, which is very convenient, especially in um, this method. So basically, I need to delete this sewing um, that is attaching these two pattern pieces together here. And then I need to delete this sewing uh, that is attaching these two front body pieces together. And then once I simulate, you can see that the fly is opening. And now I have to add sewing here. So as you can see, this is the front pattern then this is one fly layer and then this is the other one and then simulate and now you can see that's a more natural fly opening and it will be de definitely visible in the render and will give you a nice shadow um, but sometimes it opens too much really depends on what kind of garment you have in case that happens you can add an internal line somewhere around here and then sew the internal line between these two layers and then this internal line uh, sewing will help you to shut um, the fly a little bit like that and now let's uh, go to the waistband so here i have very simple waistband created so i don't even have any overlap so i will create it um, and for that i have removed the linked editing between these two pattern pieces but i still have a linked editing between um, these two sets of pattern pieces because i did layer clone um, over with these ones so first I want to offset as pattern outline to get the overlap here. So for that, just right click and offset pattern outline. And uh, basically I will offset it uh, the same length as I have this uh, length here for the fly detail. So that I believe was 31 millimeter in this case, but of course depends on your pattern. And here I will use extend, no, perpendicular, this is right. Okay, and press okay. And as you can see here, this is the part that will overlap and it should be behind. So first I will delete the sewing, uh, this sewing here that attaches this part with this part. So I will delete it. And then with select mesh box, I select both of these. So I'll hide the avatar. I'll bring it inside. And then this is the top layer and I will bring it a little bit in front. So it helps the simulation a little bit. And I simulate. And you can see there is no problem with the layering. And it is very nicely um, arranged here. And I have to adjust a little bit sewing. So I will adjust it here. And then here I have a uh, created internal line for the top stitch. Uh, so here I have to fix that as well. No, not this one. And here I will add offset as internal line that I believe was, was it one way? That was two millimeter and without extent. Okay. And I will join overlapping point. Okay, like that. And also, okay, and simulate. Okay, so the first step is done. And now I will add a simple internal uh, circle. So just, uh, you can be very precise and put it in the middle. I will just uh, wing it in this case. But usually how I find middle in the quickest way, I do this. At least for me in my workflow, I like to do it like this, not to, you know, try to find it in different ways. Okay, and then I will put it somewhere here as well. 
and now I want to sew these circles so I will sew them like this so it's this part and then I sew this one to this one like that and then it's nicely shut and it's uh, quite natural looking and then here as you can see there is sewing that keeps this part shut but also in, in, in real garments of course you don't have such sewing there so I can delete it and basically that's the sewing that is attaching these two layers of the fly so I can just delete it and then as you can see there is no sewing here for for this edge so I have to attach it to here okay and then you have beautiful uh, realistic looking fly opening and this is a method I really like because it gives good result and as you can see it's a very quick and very stable simulation okay and then after this I will share the comparison in the render between the very flat and the simple simulation of the fly and then um, this fly detail I just created now and here you can see the comparison so this is the fine-tuned version and this is the flat version as you can see there's some nice shadow happening so it looks very natural and realistic well this is not bad either so really depends how much work you want to put in this tiny detail but i usually like to uh, put some effort in those and then one thing to be mindful of um, all these details and fine tunings that I show you also the vis visibility of them also depends on what kind of lights you're using because sometimes if you have quite flat light uh, with not a lot of contrast um, it could be that these details get lost and also depending where your light is coming from for example in this case like now I change this light angle here and you know you can't see that much difference with this light so maybe in this case this could be completely fine okay so this is it for the video thank you for watching and have a good day bye